Hello guys, Marcins here and welcome in my Photoshop tutorial. Today is a manipulation tutorial, mostly about how to adjust photos and create this light and effect like this. So I hope you enjoy this and you learn something from this. And let's start. I use a few photos to create this model, of course, and the other fo photos to create my background. This and I need the sky. All the credits for photos you can find in the description. At first I need to create my background, so I need to drag this road to the sky. It's a perfect to use quick selection tool. So I make the selection and then using move tool drag it to my sky photos. It's smaller, so using free transform, I make it a little bigger, for example, like this, and using crop tool, I change the size of the sky. We have this edges and it doesn't look real so we need to click here and add layer mask then click gradient tool select this and do something like this it's enough i think these both photos are completely different so we need to change something at first we need to desaturate it a little well i think saturation about minus 55 is okay and then we need to go to gradient map select this black and white isn't good so change change colors this cyan color or whatever it is uh, should be okay and the second color should be lighter something like yellow or orange like this Okay, I think it's okay. For this in blend mode, change few ties what it looks better. Of course, multiply isn't good for this. And I set the hard light. I think the hard light is the best way for this and change opacity to 80% so now it looks pretty okay better than this of course we can add some contrast because the contrast lights and dramatic are really important in this type of uh, manipulation Okay, we have our background, so now is the time for our model and we need to make the selection using pen tool. And 
and OK. Now click right and then make selection. Set feather radius about 3 pixels to make soft edges. Then click selection tool, click right and layer via copy. And now we have uh, these two other parts to to cut. So again, uh, click pen tool and make the selection. And OK is enough, I think. And now drag this photo to to our main project. It's it's too large right now, so uh, using free transform I make it smaller. Okay, it's enough I think. Okay, as you see, my edges on her aren't perfect, so I need to clear it using eraser tool. And here a little, and shoes. Well, and now we need to adjust this model. This photo have this uh, specific lights, so I need to make it uh, whiter. So I duplicate this layer. Go to image adjustments and the saturate. And now I I set for uh, for this layer as its screen. Yeah, and it looks much better. So now I merge these layers. And okay, we need to desaturate this photo uh, just a little. So press Ctrl and click on this layer. Go to Hue Saturation and Saturation about minus 55 should be OK. And now we need to go, of course, to gradient map. And select the same color or similar, which are in our background. Well, now, now we need to create uh, some shadows, but here we can create shadows uh, just using brush tool. But I show you the standard method. Duplicate this layer. And then press Ctrl, select this layer, go to Hue Saturation and the Saturate and lightness for minus maximum and now using free transform adjust shadows to your photo As I said, it's not a best method for this type of photo. I need to blur it a little. To make it more realistic. And now I use a brush tool.
set soft light in blend mode and of course make it a little blurry now I I use the dash tool and the burn tool and now is the time for different type of lights so you can add some some figure in your brush tool I, I use some uh, special brush tool here and so I put the link in the description for this for all these brushes and some light brushes like this also you can add a lens flare so create new layer fit this layer fill this layer with color black set lighten in blending mode go to filter render and lens flare for this i select this type of lens change opacity and again also we can use um, some some brushes and add some light texture I use of course screen in band mode and duplicate this layer at the end we can use photo filter uh, warm filter is okay for this as you see and levels if you want to to add some drama and contrast and okay it's all so thank you for watching for being here with me i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and and see you here later. Thank you.